Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide on fault finding and troubleshooting for a three phase AC generator alternator part 5, the main rotor winding. Let's get started. Safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Use PPE to protect yourself, including gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout tagout and PTW procedures. These tests should only be carried out by qualified and or experienced engineers who have received safety training on live equipment. All test instruments and their leads connectors probes must be checked to ensure that they are suitable for the voltage levels being tested and are in good working order. Never attempt to test a live generator without another competent person present to shut down the engine or switch gear as necessary. Ensure that the work area is safe. Other personnel in the area are advised of what you are doing. Warning notices and tapes are displayed to advise others of the hazards. Required equipment and tools. Digital multimeter for measuring voltage, resistance, and continuity. Clamp meter for measuring AC-DC current without disconnecting wires. Megger insulation resistance tester to check the insulation resistance of windings. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive guide on fault diagnosis for the main rotor winding. Let's get started. Possible symptoms of the main rotor winding. A fault in the winding is always a short circuit within one or more of the rotor coils. This may not be visible, as the outer turns are cooled by the airflow and may appear undamaged. If the generator is still producing voltage, the DC excitation across the exciter stator terminals will be higher than normal. With a self-excited AVR system, the AVR may be unable to build up voltage on startup from residual magnetism. With a PMG-powered AVR, a winding short in the rotor may cause repeated tripping of the high excitation protection circuit on load. When separately excited with a 12-volt battery, the voltage will be lower than normal, proportionally to the percent of shorted turns. Fault finding and testing the main rotor winding. Stop the generator set and disconnect the battery. Follow lockout tagout. Procedure. Disconnect one lead of the main rotor connection to the rectifier assembly. The main rotor resistance should be checked against values given in the operation and maintenance handbooks. The main rotor resistance is checked with a multimeter set on the ohm range. If the resistance readings are low, a further test to confirm results may be necessary using a more accurate low resistance bridge meter. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to support PowerTech Insights and keep learning with more tutorials. Testing the windings and main rectifier. Reconnect the battery if disconnected. Run the generator and recheck the output voltage. If all faults found have been corrected, the output voltage should be balanced and within 10% of the nominal volts. The final test on the windings is to check the residual voltage. In next video, we are going to check the loss of residual magnetism. Please stay tuned. Warning. Always ensure that testing should be conducted by qualified personnel familiar with protection systems and that all safety procedures are strictly followed. Attempting these without proper training and safety precautions can result in serious injury or death. Do not try this at home or without the necessary expertise. PowerTech Insights is not responsible for any harm or damage caused by improper handling of electrical systems. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.